Tonight, family members are talking to us about what happened on Easter morning after three of their loved ones were killed in their home. Orlando police say a man shot and killed his young son, his girlfriend's mother, and her granddaughter. West 2's tonight, Gabriel Gattigas is live from the police department with the story. Tonight, the family tells you they are in shock. The family is so shocked, Gail, because they say they never, ever thought or imagined that the suspect could do something as horrific as killing people he called family inside of a home that was filled with love. We were happy. We were happy. Darnita and her sister, Nakia Fulmore, are struggling to understand how their joyful home had a dark and deadly ending on Easter morning. If we were all there, we would have all been dead. I miss them. If I had to ask God for one wish, it would be to bring them back. Their mother, 69-year-old Carol Fulmore, along with two children, were shot in a home at 614 Grand Street. Police say LaCorvus Daly killed Carol, his 7-year-old son, Cameron Bowie, and his girlfriend's daughter, 13-year-old Damiana Reed. Daly allegedly shot at Orlando police officers and was killed when they returned fire. Everything keep running through my, my mind is, what if, what if, what could I have done? Darnita says her boyfriend Daly never showed signs of concern, just that he was acting strange when missing work a few days before the shooting. Never once hit me, never cursed at me. Darnita says that night the kids were eating out with Daly. He later called her, threatening to hurt her family. I was trying to talk him down and then I got a text from my mom saying, help, I hear shots. Carol's being remembered for having a heart of gold, and her granddaughter dreamed of becoming a dancer. Damiana called her Nana. That's <laughs> Nana. My mom was supposed to pass later on in life peaceful. They hope sharing their story will remind everyone to check on each other. What happened was something that I thought would never happen to me, and it happened within the blink of an eye and it can happen to anyone. If you see anything that's just like unusual, seek help. The family will hold a candlelight vigil tomorrow to honor the victims. They also have a GoFundMe set up for funeral expenses. The funeral service will be held next weekend. We're live in Orlando. I'm Sanai Gabrigedigas, Washington News.